Uh, so good morning class. So uh, today our class is going to be on meat. I'm sure all of you know what meat is. We enjoy meat and I think uh, it's one of those dishes that most of us actually like. Uh, meat in our context as caterers is uh, gotten from the flesh of domesticated hooved animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to share some slides with you so that you can uh, see, uh, be able to see. So I, can, I don't know whether you can see that. Can you see it? Can you see something I'm writing? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me share my screen in a few. Can you see it now? Oh, no, no, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. You can see it? Wow. Uh, Siota, can you see it? Okay, so hooved animals, animals with hooves. And these animals are the ones that we know mostly like um, uh, pigs, cows, goats, sheep and their young ones so uh we are going to look at uh the types of meat and i think i'm, I'm going to show it in slides so that mm -hmm. you can be able to see them so meat uh, as the principal food for diet and uh it is the flesh of domesticated animals the types of the meat you can see there be from mature cows or uh, ox uh, veal is the young one of a cow from 12 to 24 weeks. Mutton, mature sheep, lamb, young one of sheep, and pork. Uh, we have mature pigs and uh, boars or suckling, suckling pigs or piglets. Uh, those ones are very tiny, like 9 kgs, and uh, of course very tender because it's still a very young uh, animal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... When we are looking at uh, meats, you will find that we are generally thinking of um, what flesh, what dishes, I mean, that uh, can we be able to enjoy from these uh, meats. You will find that we look at each one of them on their own, like uh, when we look at beef. What is beef? We said beef is from uh, the flesh of mature cow or oxen. You know, a cow is the female, an ox is male, right? Yeah. 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 So um, we are going to have uh, the 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 the, the 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 beef as a, one of the meats, and we are going to look at it in quality, like uh, when you're going out there to buy. It. But before you buy it, how is it? slaughtered and maybe gotten to the butchery and you'll find that the butchery i mean the the, the butcher is going to uh, generally slaughter and hang the animal mm -hmm. in a cold room to mature it because when you kill an animal the moment you kill an animal there is uh, what we call rigor mortis and rigor mortis is the what the stiffness of muscles when an animal is dying because mm -hmm. uh, air has been cut off it has to become very stiff and when it, bec it becomes that stiff then of course even uh, its meat is going to be very tough yeah. so to make sure that this meat is uh, tender you have to uh, maybe hang it for a few days so that uh, it is uh, the, the, uh, the the carcass that's what we call anaerobic respiration. I'm sure you remember that from biology class, yeah? Where you uh, breathe, your, 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 your body continues to respire even when you're running and you're not breathing in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you kill an animal for a few hours, it is still going to do anaerobic respiration. Mm -hmm. And it will be producing, uh, producing, uh, it will be producing uh, lactic acid and water and carbon dioxide. And that lactic acid will give our uh, meat flavor and also uh, make it tender uh, tender because it's acid, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
So you hang it in a cold condition so that uh, also you don't give bacteria room for uh, for growth, yeah? Okay. So that is uh -huh. why it's hang in cold rooms. For like five, uh, from five days to actually even two weeks. Some people even will hang it even longer, yeah? You mm -hmm. see? So you need to generally see that this, meat has actually even when you're uh, receiving it and it is actually at a temperature where it, uh, it is below five degrees centigrade if it's chilled and if it is frozen it's supposed to be uh below negative 18 degrees centigrade okay. let me share another slide with you Can you see it? Yes. Yes, the hanging or maturing of beef uh, at, those, at that temperature. Uh, why we need to chill it, um, to hang it, is because we need it to uh, lose the rigor mortis and become tender and actually uh, to improve its flavor. So you can tenderize also using other things like uh, when we are marinating, we may add vinegar or lemon juice to make sure that your meat is tender or the meat tenderizer in the supermarket mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah so then of course you cannot mince meat but of course if you don't want minced meat then uh mincing becomes uh useless in this case okay mm -hmm. yeah so we also get on and look at uh maybe quality points for buying beef when you go out there to buy beef, what kind of things would you be looking for? Look, you look at the color. Yes, the, the color, it, it must be bright red, yeah? Red, yes. The fat must be white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with uh, creamy white, yeah? Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, flecks of uh, uh, white, white fat. So you need to make sure that your, your, your meat is bright red. If it is very dark, it could actually be uh, meat from another animal or maybe even uh, already uh, stale beef, already beef that is actually rotting. Okay. Yeah. yeah? And um, then I, I want to share the, another slide where we see the quality points of uh, beef. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello Karibu to class. You are late Thank again. Okay, so you can, can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, can so you can see that uh, lean meat should be bright red with small flecks of uh, fat, uh, uh, and the fat should be well distributed, not so, some parts that are very fatty and others without, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then the, the fat should be firm and brittle creamy white in color. And the fat, just as the meat, should be odorless. Haina harufu. Okay? The fat yes. and flesh should smell fresh. And then the flesh should be firm and spring it to the touch. As in, if you press it down, it will uh, be able to come back uh, to the same shape it was before. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. Then it should not be excessive of moisture or dripping. If it is dripping, then it means it has not been hung uh, for a, a, a good time. And I'm sure we, uh, we, we you can we can relate. We can relate, but uh, because once like when you when, uh, when you go back home and um, you are slaughtering for an event and you have to eat the meat immediately, you notice that the meat tends to be a bit um watery 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is because you're, you're slaughtering and using it at the same time. Because uh, this water is being produced through anaerobic respiration. That mm-hmm. is the water that is being produced when you have uh, lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and water being produced by the by the the, the carcass after air has uh, has been cut off from the animal. Okay, so okay. Okay. Uh, good quality meat or beef is which that has been hanged for some time, so that uh, all the anaerobic respiration has happened and the meat becomes tender on its own. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the, in the structure of beef, I'll show you uh, the, the, the cuts or rather the, the, the picture of the structure. But in the structure of beef, we have things like the saloin, the top side, the shank, the, the thick flank, the thin flank, shoulder and such. OK, those are the, the, the joints of meat, the big pieces. Yeah? But of course, out of the joints, you can get cuts of meat. And of course, um, I will give you that assignment to go and look for cuts of meat. Cuts okay? of meat. Yeah, mm-hmm. cuts of meat. Let me give you a di- some direction. Uh, under cuts of meat, we are going to look at uh, fillets, um, yeah. steaks like ram steak, seabone steak, and such. Okay. Yes. Yes. So those are the kind of things. That, and of course, the cuts are quite uh, uh, a big um, uh, range or variety. OK. Mm. Yes. So let me share another screen. Uh, I mean, uh, another slide. Okay. You can uh, uh, from this one you can be able to see the shank. You can be able to see the shank uh, of the of both the the hind and the front legs. Then we have the brisket, the shark, the ribs, the short loin, the sirloin, the tenderloin, the other sirloin, uh, the plate, all those. And of course, the, uh, the shoulder is actually under the chuck today. Okay, so that, that is generally uh, the beef uh, structure or generally the, the cuts of beef that you will find out there. It is, it's very important that, that you actually get to know them and uh, how uh, they are used in uh, cookery. So when you're cooking beef, you, you are going to look at this other screen. Can you see that? Cooking beef. Uh, it is not being displayed in my, on my screen. No, it's, on, it's also not displaying on mine. The, the, the cooking beef? Yes, the, yeah, the, it's not. Not. Can you see it now? Nope. Uh, why? I, uh, it's still shared. Am I, it's too, is it too tiny? No, no when, you, when you share it, we can enlarge it, but now it's not. Mm, but it's, uh, uh, it's shared. I'm, I'm wondering why. Okay, let me let me share again and see what happens. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's loading now. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you, if you look at the, the this uh strategy, this uh slide, it is showing us uh how to cook beef. Uh you can roast. Roasting, of course, means uh, quick cooking, so the meat must be tender enough. So uh, we can actually tenderize by uh, using a meat hammer, uh, or you can also use the tenderizers, uh, lemon, vinegar to uh, to tenderize your meat. Then there is uh, coil cooking. Coiling is doing what? It is uh, what we call pot roasting. Coiling is French for pot roasting. And I'm sure you have seen um, um, some butchers in the village, in the 
estates. Yeah? Some butchers yeah. in the estates tend to have, um, like, to, to, to cook meat on a chapati pan with a little oil and then they they cook one side and then they turn, they turn the other side yeah yes. that is what's called pot roasting or poiling poiling is french okay, okay? yes okay. so okay. we there are those meats that we can boil there are those that we can boil there are those that we can stew and generally if you look at it you, can, you will notice that we we generally uh, generally tend to stew or braise very tough cuts of meat and the tough cuts of meat that we can roast, we have to tenderize. Okay. So if you, if you go for top side of beef, which is a bit tough, when you want to roast, you have to tenderize it, may, uh, heat it until it is flat, or use a, a, a tenderizing agent to make it tender. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So then um, you, there's uh, also the... the um, Shallow frying. Shallow frying is generally as for grilling, so you can uh, uh, grill rump, steak, uh, whole sirloin, uh, where, where we have the T-bones and the porterhouse steaks. Then we have the strip loin from the sirloin. Then we have fillets of uh, beef, like the Chatu brand, uh, the tunedos are uh, going to also be there, wing ribs and four ribs. Okay. Then we have uh, uh, sautéing. For sautéing means you, you you cook the beef by just uh, browning on both sides. And uh, then it means that it has to be very tender. And generally, you can do that with uh, meat that you can grill. So it's fillet and strip loins. Whatever we can stew, we can also braise. So you will notice a uh, thick flank, uh, top side of beef are going to be uh, braised. Just like the 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 or the awful, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think uh, what what we shall now go on ahead and look at is um the other uh, meat, and that is veal. Veal. We say it is uh, the young of a cow, or what we call a calf, ndama. It has to be slaughtered between uh, at the age of 12 to 24 weeks. Um, and of course, the meat is uh, pale pink and firm with also white, uh, white fat. And then the yep. bones should be uh, uh, pinkish white, porous, and with small amounts of blood in their structure. Then the kidneys should be firm and well covered with fat. Okay. So the cuts okay. of uh, the cuts of um, veal, you can see we have the shoulder, we have the sirloin, the rib, the uh, the lamp roast around the loin, and the best end breast and four shank. Sorry, not the best end. Best end near sheep. So the breast end, the four shank. Uh, if you look at and you see that we are not uh, touching the head and the legs, no, and all. So we are just looking at the prime, prime cuts of the yeah. meat. Eh? Yeah. Yes. So those we are going to be discussing them uh, under offal when we are looking at offal. Then we have pork. Pork, of course, uh, is from mature pigs and boars. A boar is a um, uh, a wild pig or a, a, a male uncastrated pig, as in it has not been castrated. So I, I don't know, I, I don't really want to go into uh, the meaning of castrating, but uh, yeah. just that. Okay, so mature pigs, uh, wild pigs or uncastrated male pigs, and of course we also have suckling pigs. They are roasted whole, and uh, in most cases, they are presented with um, either a, a nipple in the mouth or maybe a tomato for for garnishing, yeah? yeah. And uh, a, a Christmas treat, uh, a, a good Christmas treat uh, in some cultures. Okay, so okay. when you're 
cooking pork, uh, it is believed to have uh, very high uh, levels of uh, bacteria and uh, worms that can cause uh, uh, disease to humans. So you are told to cook your pork really well. Uh, so food made up of uh, from pork and uh, 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 and uh, cooked to be eaten when hot, they must be thoroughly cooked and kept oh. hot for the minimum possible length of time. That is to avoid multiplication of bacteria. Pork must, be, uh, pork must be absolutely fresh and well cooked to avoid uh, trichinosis, which is caused by worms found in raw pork. Okay, uh, trichinosis means uh, is a disease just like um, when you have hookworms and such other uh, problems. So it is worms found in raw pork that uh, will cause uh, trichinosis. So if, I have a question. Sorry? I have a question. Yes? How about the, there's a Brucella bacteria? Can it be found in pork? Um, okay. Brucella bacteria mostly is found in uh, cow milk and cow uh, and beef. Oh. Yes. But uh, the, there's uh, other bacteria that you'll still find uh, under um, pork, like uh, the, is it Staphylococcus aureus? Staphylococcus. Let me, let me come back. And uh, show you here on this. Um, I, I believe it's still shared there. Star. Star. Philo. Star. Philo. Co. Cocas. Cocas. Then Orias. Yes, Staphylococcus uh, aureus, yeah? That is one of the bacteria. But generally, depending on what it is eating, if it has contact with uh, anything, any food that has uh, Brussel, uh, the Brucella bacteria, it will also be found in the pork. But mostly, uh, you find Staphylococcus aureus in uh, uh, pork. And then the worms, okay? Okay. Yes, so the, worms are, the worms are believed to be many and uh, uh, disease causing, so that is why it is insisted that meat uh, pork should always be well done. Yes, well done yeah. means that yeah. the meat is cooked through and through to the temperature of uh, uh, at most 70 degrees on the core of the meat. So as in when you, when you insert the food thermometer, it will read uh, 70 and above. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you know, uh, 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 let me let me go back to the to the degrees of uh, that. I mean, cooking for beef, and show you. Okay. So down here, can you see? No. You can see the the rare the, um, the 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 rare the or blue the very red underdone. Yep. It is not it is not uh, clear or you cannot see the the screen. No, it's not displaying. It's not shared yet. It is not shared yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, I can see it now. Yes, the degrees of cooking meat we have rare. It should be very red. Uh, temperatures inside should be around forty degrees centigrade, underdone around uh, fifty 
uh, to 55 degrees centigrade, just done around 60. And then from well done, uh, is well cooked meat and should have uh, at most uh, be, be above uh, 70 degrees centigrade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yes, underdone uh, is also can you call underdone um, medium rare? Yes, yes, you can. Okay. Okay. All right. So then, uh, it means that we, with that, we can, we are, we are uh, move, uh, progressing well. And then you look at uh, things like uh, pork. No, not pork. Um, mutton. Mutton and uh, lamb are seen in the same structure because actually the uh, mutton is the, the sheep and the lamb is the baby of the sheep. So generally the structure is the same, only that the meat of a uh, lamb tends to be very tender and you can actually roast it like mm. every other part can be roasted without any uh, issues. And um, we will be looking at the structure of uh, mutton. Uh, and uh, the meat, the meat is also reddish in color. Um, uh, for the lamb is also pinkish. So lamb and veal, because they are very young, they are considered to be white meat, and that is generally what we call white meat in our own catering world. In our catering, in the okay. catering context. So don't don't talk of uh, uh, catering. I mean, white meat as in chicken and fish. Those are not meat. Yeah, those are not meat. Meat is um, uh, the ones that we have listed down right now, like beef, uh, veal, uh, mutton, and lamb, and pork. So when we talk of white meat, we are talking about pork, uh, veal, and lamb. Okay. Yes. So do, not, do not be confused by um, writers, especially when, when you go to the internet, who will talk of white meat and they will list down for you chicken, fish, and such other uh, things, okay? Chicken yeah. is salt. Yeah, and fish is fish. And right? rabbit. Uh, rabbit is game. Yeah. But uh, I, as uh, an game, it is still white mm. meat, okay? Yes. yes, you can actually call it white meat, but it is game. Under game. Sorry? It is under game. It is under game. Yes. Okay. So uh, I want us to uh, go on and uh, look at the processed meats. What uh, what processed meats do you know? Bacon. Yes, bacon. How? Um. Ham. Ham, yes, ham. Then the sausages. Yes, sausages. Hot dogs. Uh, hot dog, <laughs> hot dog. Okay, you know the hot dog is um the sandwich with the with the with the processed meat inside. Yes, but uh, the hot dog is made with frankfurters. Or oh, the the what the 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 boys uh, sausage, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the when you say hot dog, we we actually are looking at the whole sandwich with the oh. with the bread and uh, the other fillings inside, yeah. But when you're talking mm -hmm. of, of uh, processed meat, we are talking of the meats on their own. We have uh, chipolatas, you know chipolatas. They look like sausages, but they are tiny, tiny, very tiny, like, oh, uh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, 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 we know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we have yeah. Vienna, you know the Vienna? Yes, yes. They look, yeah, like, they, look, they, they look like smokies, but they are not really smoky. They are quite long, yeah? Yeah. Vienna, and then, of course, we have smokies. And then we have the bites. They are, they are so very common nowadays, yeah? Mm-hmm. We have the chicken, uh, the chicken bite, the beef bite, very tiny, like uh, like like uh, smokies, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. All those are processed meat. We have bacon. Bacon can be seen in different uh, lights. We have um, the cured or smoked bacon, and we have the green bacon. And then the bacons can be uh, divided into green uh, bacon, uh, color bacon, and streaky bacon, depending on where it is coming from. Okay. Yes. So you go, go look at us, uh, the, the, the streaky uh, bacon, the rind, the color bacon, and you'll be able to note uh, to see where it is actually coming from, uh, in, from the animal. Then ham is gotten from the leg of pork, cured leg of pork. And cured means it either has been smoked and uh, treated in brine. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, brine, I'll uh, give you... You know, brine. Brine is B R I N E. Yeah. So, brine is. Uh, Okay. Just a minute. Let, let, let me get my slide back. Uh, yeah. Can you see it now? Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, so okay, so uh, uh, Brian is written as B. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me just give the the, the spelling uh, because like it, it seems like I, um I'm losing my 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 slide whenever my blank slide whenever I I, I share again. So it is B R I N E brain. And uh, in brain we are looking at um. Okay, um, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, um, brine is uh, under types of bacon. If you look at uh, smoked bacon, we are saying it is salted uh, either by the dry method or soaked in brine. B R I N. Can you see that word? Yes. Yes, brine. And uh, brine uh, generally is um, a very high concentration of salt. I mean, a, a high uh, co um, concentrated salty solution where you actually soak in your meat and let it just uh, get in uh, the, the salt and moisture. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then, of course, we are going to look at other uh, uh, animals, like, uh, I mean, uh, other um, parts of animals, like offal. Offal is uh, what? The... The innards, the, the internal organs of mm -hmm. um, or those carcasses from meat, yeah? Uh -huh. Yes. So here we have, uh, when you talk of offer, uh, offer generally stands for all of them. Even some that are not even the internal organs, like the oxtail and the pig's head. I don't know why they just talk about the pig's head and they don't talk about the other heads there. Yeah? But mm -hmm. those are all seen as awful. Okay. Then the brain. So, 
uh, we shall be looking at uh, each one of them. The most common is liver. We know liver, right? Yes. Like liver, maini. And of mm. course, we have maini from ox or cow, which is quite big and uh, dark, uh, very dark in color, dark red in color. And of mm. course, uh, the best quality is the ones that do not have a lot of tubes inside there. Yeah? It should not yes. have a lot of tubes. Okay. Yeah, and I know you know how to prepare liver. You have to remove the, the, the very uh, outer layer of the top. We just mm -hmm. uh, start it off and the rest is very easy. Just like the way we, we, we remove uh, chicken skin, it is also very, uh, easy to remove the, 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 the skin of liver when once you, you are able to get your finger in, okay? Yes. yes. So when you want to cook your liver in the best way and it does not become tough, you must remove that that, that uh, outer membrane. Yeah? Yes, yeah. the membrane that actually protects it from injuries while it is inside there, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, you'd have to be like in a very bad accident for, for your liver to be, uh, to be, you know, like hurt. And you know, it is a very, uh, once you get, you get the skin off, you notice it's very brittle. It's something quite delicate, yeah? So yes. the ca the camera is generally what is actually protecting, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have so we have uh, fox liver, we have calf's liver, we have uh, lamb liver, we have um, the sheep liver, and we also have uh, chicken livers. But we are not going to talk about chicken livers here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So um, let me go back to the. Um, Okay, so I will. Uh, um, I hope you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so that is the offer. The name given to the edible parts of, uh, taken from the insides of a carcass: uh, liver, kidney, heart, sweet bread, tripe, brains, oxtail, tongue, and head. Okay, uh, liver. To me, we can see kuna calf's liver, kuna lamb's liver, ox or beef liver pig's liver and of course uh, it should look uh, fresh and moist uh, smooth with a pleasant color and no smell no unpleasant smell and it should not be look dry also and it should not have so many tubes okay then we have kidneys we have our uh, kidneys um, are well protected by uh, mafuta which we call sweat okay um and it should be left uh, on the uh, on otherwise the kidneys will dry out if you uh, the kidneys are always sold in, with the fat then if you don't want to use the fat you can discard it on your own but you will not it's very hard uh, or very rare to go and find a butcher displaying kidneys without the fat because once you remove it they be start becoming dry yeah mm -hmm. yes then we have hearts uh, hearts also should not uh, should not be too fatty and should co not contain too many tubes also. And then when they are cut, they should be moist and not sticky and no uh, smell or unpleasant smell. The sweet breads. Sweet breads are actually the pancreas uh, and they, they must glands. They are also known as the heart breads. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sweet breads are pinkish in color and um, it is very rare to actually find them in a butcher uh, in a butchery being sold so uh, but but they are quite a, de a delicacy okay they should okay. be freshly uh, uh, sh they, they should be fresh and of a good size they should uh, be creamy white in color without uh, a bad smell okay then you have tribe matumbo tripe you can see tripe the stomach lining or white muscle of the uh, cow consisting of the rumen or punch and the honeycomb tripe the honeycomb tripe are, are considered the best they they, they have the, 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 the that is the honeycomb it is uh, considered to be the, the the best but uh even the others are passable then we have sheep tripe which is uh, darker in color and also obtained in some areas. Um, tripe should be fresh, 
with no signs of sickness or unpleasant smell. And tripe should cont uh, contains protein, is low in fat and high in calcium. Okay. Then we have brains. Brains uh of course from all the animals we have calf's brain uh that actually is the most popular of all but it, it, it is not we actually can also consume uh, brains from uh, other animals personally where i come from people tend to uh, look uh, down uh, upon um uh the brains of sheep because they feel like the brains of sheep are i don't know the the, the brains of sheep are i believe that if you eat them you are going to become as uh, thick headed as sheep but i don't think that is really uh, the, the thing. but even you being see, uh, seen eating them uh people really think there's something wrong with you but brain generally is really good it, it tastes really nice we also have the tongue right yes. tongue you can eat the tongue of uh, uh cows or, or oxes no is it oxen i think the right word is oxen uh, cows Ox and oxen, oxen. Uh, you can also get from sheep uh, and the the calf's tongue yeah mm -hmm. all those are uh, the delicacies and even the pig's tongue it is by the way the best ever yes if you, ever, if you ever encounter the, uh, the, the, the tongue of uh, a pig when it has been grilled, it is the best. Or even uh, deep fried, it is the best. But of course, when you deep fry, you make sure that you brought out all the fat using uh, maybe grease proof paper or uh, serviette so that uh, at least you reduce the amount of, uh, of fat in it. But it is, it is considered a very nice dish. It is really tasty. Okay. So that is me, and um, there are so many uh, uh, options of, of you out there. If you want to eat uh, any of the offers, you just go to the to the butcher and uh, ask for whatever it is that you want. If you want to eat matumbo, you ask for matumbo. And um, generally, in our own uh, butcheries, our matumbo are greenish in color, right? Mm. Yes, they have not been uh, washed like thoroughly, but in some um, uh, developed countries, they generally wash the tripe. You look so white, you actually don't, and you'd actually be wondering what that is, yeah? It looks like it has been bleached, but uh, it's tripe either way. But in our African context, we believe in at least having that green uh mm -hmm. in the in the dish yeah mm -hmm. yeah so some people say they don't like matumbo because it looks yeah it looks uh, dirty or what but i think that's in someone's mind if it, if it is in your mind then um uh, that is what will uh happen i mean will actually uh uh give you a give you a what give your mind uh some repulsion of the same yeah yeah, true. Okay. So, can, uh, can we have uh, now questions coming? Did I show you the structure of our ship? No, I did not. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so lamb is generally meat from animals under one year old. Then mutton is the term for older animals between two and three years of age. Yeah. Uh, uh, the carcass uh, is supposed to be compact and evenly fleshed. So you should uh, not have some areas that look very thin and uh, and uh, soft. Then the lean flesh of lamb and mutton ought to be firm and of a pleasing dull red color and of fine texture or grain. Fat should be evenly distributed, hard, brittle and flaky and clear white in color. The bones should be porous in young animals. Porous means that the bone is not um is not hard you can actually uh, be able to crush it by maybe mm -hmm. using a little bit of uh, force from your teeth and then of okay. course it looks like the bones of chicken yeah so that is what we mean mm -hmm. by porous bones uh, 
best maton comes from uh, well fed sheep about two to three years old. Eh? Okay, so then we have um, okay. the cast of uh, mutton and lamb. We have the neck, the shoulder, we have the breast, the fore shank, and the hind shank, the leg, the saloin, the tenderloin, the loin, and the ribs. Did you know that the, 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 the ribs of um, sheep and uh, lamb are also called the best end racks? The best end racks. Sorry, the best? Best end rack. End rack, end rack. okay. Yeah, as, uh, when you're cutting them as uh, cuts, the ribs are known, uh, are called best end. Best end of uh, lamb, best end of uh, sheep, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, the best end of uh, uh, rack, yeah. So th that is generally, so the, the, the animals, um, you will find that the way you are cooking for beef is generally how you're also going to cook for 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 the other animals or the other uh, meats okay so i think now uh, the floor is yours ask questions as um you uh, you feel you are in need of so madam you're talking about um when you kill an animal there's the buildup of lactic acid and then the anaerobic respiration so is it uh good to slaughter an animal and then eat it right there or you should slaughter it then hang it for a bit before consuming it cooking it and actually then consuming. you you are supposed to have to hang it for like 14 days mm -hmm. before you actually eat the meat but um in our cultures we actually kill the animal and actually cook it the same same day and yes. it tends to actually uh, be cooked for quite a long time you know mm -hmm. you have to boil it uh, over and over so that the meat becomes tender and uh, sometimes you'll find that if you actually don't have the skills of cooking this meat it tends to be very uh, tough like yes it, it's just nice but in a quiet you know you're you're really struggling mm. with with, with the meat yeah because yes. the muscles are still very stiff yeah mm -hmm. remember the moment uh the animal was slaughtered and air was uh it was it cannot breathe again then mm -hmm. it tends to stretch out and die as the muscles are very very stiff and that stiffness is what causes uh, meat to be tough so to, to, reduce, to remove that toughness is where we actually now um, uh, hang the meat so that it continues to respire anaerobically and produces mm -hmm. lactic acid and mm -hmm. that water that we find in a morgue. Mm -hmm. Okay? So mm -hmm. yes. the lactic acid generally also brings in, uh, I mean, more flavor into the meat. So you'll find that... Um, I mean, hanged meat tends to be uh, more delicious than the one that you have just slaughtered and eaten and mm -hmm. cooked. Okay. Yes. Sometimes people ask, "Kwa nini nyama ya hii hoteli ina taste nzuri na msisi tukikula nyumbani si ama tukichinja nyumbani atusikiange ikiwa tamu?" It's because you know, you know, at home you just kill and eat the animal. Well. In the uh, out there, they kill the animal. They hang for up to fourteen days in a cold room. Of course, it has to be a cold room. If you if you hang um, in room temperature, of course, bacteria are going to attack. And uh, within a day, you in a in a look isn't it? Yes. Yes. So that is generally it. Okay. Another question. Peter, 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 Michael, do you have a question? Oh, 
Okay, so then um, uh, I, I want to give you uh, Luganji. Luganji Imali is who? Is that Sarah? Sarah? I think, yeah, I think it's Sarah. Okay, uh, Sarah? Sarah? She has just gotten in and we are actually finishing our presentation. Okay, so. Sarah. Uh, Sarah. 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 Yeah. It seems like uh but no, she cannot hear us. Um uh Peter keeps on uh, coming in and going. So do we have any questions? Michael? Unmute yourself, Michael. It is back is back yeah peter do you have a question yeah yeah mm -hmm. no my i'm i'm okay i'm okay you you don't have any question not really no, not really okay so um i want us to discuss the pre yeah. the preparation of meat yes so can, can you tell me um the the different okay. methods in which we, pre, uh, we yeah, prepare yeah. yes you tell me uh different methods of preparing meat. tell me one and explain it all the way to the end can we start with you uh, uh, uh peter sorry you tell us one way of preparing meat and explain meat. yes how to prepare meat Boiling, bracing. No, that is, Hello. That, that, is, that is cooking. That is cooking. I want prepare uh, preparation. Oh, preparation of me. Yes. yes, preparation of me. Hello. Yes, uh, preparation of meat. Tell us one method and explain it all the way. Sorry, I can't. Here, I have a problem with my my mic. Oh, hey. uh -huh. I'm not only. Huh? You no, will uh, in any category. Sorry. Okay. Um. Then um. I can. I don't see why I. I don't Here understand you. why. Hello. So I'm. I'm. I'm asking you. Peter? Peter? Michael? Yes. Um, yes. Have you had our question? Uh, no. Okay, our question was on uh, how to prepare meat. You give us one method and explain it. Uh, one method and explain how to prepare and uh, remember preparing is right and food ready for for cooking method of preparing a uh, beef meat yes what, what if i said of uh, braising braising is cooking i, I want preparation <laughs> Okay, let, 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 let me give you one. Yes. Uh, marinating. Uh -huh. Marinating is uh, uh, mixing your meat with a marinade, which is a mixture of uh, oil, uh, seasoning, and other uh, agents to yeah. either tenderize your meat and also to enhance the flavor uh, before cooking. You can marinate and uh, keep your meat for up to 12 hours before cooking. Yeah. For a better taste. Over to, over to you, yes? For a better taste. 
Yes. So now can you give us another method? <laughs> tenderizing. Yes, this tenderizing. Okay, it is where either you use the use the, the kitchen hammer. Mm -hmm. The meat hammer, yes. Here it comes standard to, to break the the, the the collagens, if I'm not wrong. This is the, the, the tough tissue. Mm -hmm. to, to break the tough tissues and to make the meat uh, soft. Yes, tender. Yeah, and even you can use the uh, popo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, papaya juice, yes. Uh, how about the lemon juice? Yeah, lemon juice and even vinegar. And we also have um, uh, proprietary tenderizers in the supermarket. There's that powder called meat tenderizer in the in the supermarket. You can also use it, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, sorry? Is there, is there any other method? Yeah, so many. I'm, I'm expecting you people to respond, and you're not responding. Um, um, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah uh, ten, uh, ten, uh, seems to be here, but uh, we cannot quite get her. I don't know what, what the problem is. Um, yeah. Give me another. Okay, let me give you another. Uh, what about um, rolling? Rolling of meat? Rolling? When you roll meat, you actually uh, cut it in uh, slabs. You can tenderize first, then uh, roll it uh, into uh, like a spiral, and then tie. So tying is another method. Uh, is also another method of preparation. You tie so that you leave. Uh, you make sure that the shape is retained throughout cooking, like what you do with uh, beef olives. But in the beef olives, you also do what we call stuffing. That is also another method of uh, preparation where we put in a filling in the meat. So for beef olives, we, we prepare the filling and then uh, uh, put it at one edge, one end of the slab of meat, and then we start rolling. We roll all the way to the end, and then we tie with a kitchen string from one end and make sure that the other uh, or the, the throughout the length of the meat we have. Uh, secured and then secure at the end of the uh, of the slab and then we shall uh, brown it as it is and then we can brace it or stew it other methods of uh, preparation will be um, dredging with flour before cooking and uh, dredging means uh, passing it through a dry powder like flour before cooking, especially when we want to saute, we can uh, we can um, dredge liver for cooking. We can dredge uh, pork when we are we are doing sweet and sour pork. We can uh, dredge um, chatubra no no tornadoes for cooking. When you when you're, when you're cooking tornadoes, you can uh, dredge them before actually frying them. Uh, why do we dredge meat when we are cooking? Mostly to keep, uh, to um, prevent our fat from becoming uh, dirty, and because once it becomes dirty, the flash point or the yeah the flash point tends to uh, go lower, and then it means that the oil becomes very hot. And once you throw in anything uh, to cook, it becomes black immediately. Collins, welcome back. We are you, looking at methods of preparing uh, beef, no, not just beef meat. We have talked mm -hmm. of marinating. We have talked of uh, tenderizing. We have talked of rolling, tying and stuffing, and dredging of meat. Mm -hmm. So other methods we have not touched about, uh, touched on, you can tell us one. And uh, uh, generally, pot, pot roasting. Uh, pot roasting is a method of cooking, not uh, preparation. Preparation is oh, rendering oh. the food ready for cooking. Yeah. Preparation. Mm -hmm. Rendering, rendering food 
ready for cooking. So I've said examples, uh, the ones that we have already discussed, the marinating, tenderizing, rolling, tying, and stuffing, like we, the, way, the way we do it for beef olives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we talked of dredging. We, we dredge the beef olives before we saute them. We also dredge uh, tornadoes for uh, when you're making tornadoes. We can also dredge uh, liver for braised liver. And even mm -hmm. pork for uh, sweet and sour pork. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you give me another method of preparation that we, ha we have not talked about? Um, what about salting? Salting? Salting the meat. Preservation. <laughs> oh, salting preservation. I, I, would, I mean, I would, I would uh, uh, pick seasoning, yeah? Uh -huh, yeah, seasoning. Same yes, seasoning. Seasoning, seasoning. Is, the, is the right term here now. You can yeah. use seasoning where you add salt and uh, what? And uh, pepper uh, according to mm -hmm. this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Especially when you're roasting and grilling, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Another? Another method? Mm, no. What about uh, the body? Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. The body? What is the to the bone? It's to remove the, the bones from the meat so that you only yes. left with the, with the and, meat. And you remove it in such a systematic and uh, specific way as that you don't uh, ruin the, the structure of the meat. You are, it is left as a whole. If it is a leg, you are able to separate in such a way that you'll be able to remove the, the bone. It's called the femur. Yeah? You remove mm -hmm. all of it and uh, are left with a piece of meat. Then you can roll it and fry and cook it as braised. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, for when you're pregnant, you don't have to tenderize because the 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 the, the, um, the amount of cooking the, the cooking time is quite uh, long, yeah. But mm -hmm. if you're cooking, you want to cook it maybe by roasting. You have to tenderize. You can use a meat hammer to flatten the mm -hmm. tissues so that uh, the meat is tender. Okay. 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 Yes, but uh, there's that uh, boning. When you bone, uh, most most of the time people are uh, also roll. You can uh, be bone a leg of lamb, a leg of uh, mutton, and then uh, roll it and tie it. Okay. Okay. Is mincing a uh, is mincing one one of them? Mincing. Yes, mincing is also a, a method of preparation, especially when you want to cook cutlet or uh, like uh, what we call bolognese sauce. The mm -hmm. bolognese sauce is actually the sauce that, that we make to actually uh, eat spaghetti bolognese so that you can now cook spaghetti on the side and offer uh, the, the, the sauce as the meat. Okay. Yes. We can also use it to make, uh, use it to make uh, burgers and uh, uh, other cutlets. Okay. Yes. Other, other methods other methods of preservation uh, of, of preparation there are many and actually we are we are supposed to be reminding ourselves from uh, module one when we are looking at food production theory we talk about uh, methods of uh, preparing <laughs> Sorry? Skewing. Oh, skewing. Yeah. Yes. Like when you're making mishkatis. Yeah, it can be used actually. Skewing? Mushkaki? Mm. Mushkaki? No, mushkaki? Yeah, the one with the sticks, uh, nyama. And, yes. Yeah, I know them. Yes, that is also a method of preparation, right? Because you cannot you cannot start making mushkakis without having skewed first, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So when you want to skew, you have to uh, soak your soak, soak your your skewers first in water for some time, mm. so, so that um, 
when you go you, you take them to the oven they don't get burnt up uh, by, by the heat of the oven okay yeah yes okay so i think there is uh, quite a number of methods there that you can uh, actually request uh, with the other so my my challenge for you today is to do what is to uh, how we preserve meat, the preservation of meat, and the food value of meat. How to uh, preservation of meat and the food value of meat. Okay, yeah. I'm a nutritive value. You can go look for nutritive value. I'm a food value. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I think I gave an a, an assignment last week. Uh, I've not seen anyone hand over the the, the assignment. Which one? The assignment is handed over after the class. So we have it. We are waiting for your email. We send it. But the email is on the on the wall. I gave the email qua an announcement, Nani. Um so Peter. Oh, let me check. Yeah. Uh, my email address is displayed there. You can you can be able to see it. Okay. So yeah, uh, Nelson, um too bad you are coming in when you are almost finished. <laughs> There's always a next time. Welcome to us. We are, I'm happy to no. see that you're here. And uh, yes. Sarah, to Sarah, um, uh, we are unable to connect completely. I don't know why. The, what is the problem, Sarah? Yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You are you are too lost. <laughs> 